Uh oh. Uh, I wish uh, Pawn Hub good luck with what it, whoever they're playing at whatever handicap they're playing at. We're not doing that right now. Ten thirty is what we're gonna do. We've done lots of fifteen sixty recently. We're going to try playing a different pace of a game. Um, something faster, more lighthearted. Maybe more pieces will fly and hang. I don't know. Oh, goodness. 1560 and 1030 are really two different games. They really are. All right. We got a challenge from Pawn Hub. I guess this is what we're doing. Sure, why not? Uh, good luck. All right. Well, this is a rated game, so I'm going to put this in emote-only mode, but I'm not sure that's going to matter too much. Um, right, so this is a thing we're going to learn more about somehow. Um, I think this has got to be playable, right? I have a sense of what's going on this game. Can we confirm this? Yeah, I thought so. Very nice. Very interesting. So I'll try to have some fun with it, eh? Um... All right, all right, I see. Um, <laughs> well, now we copy the move, right? What could possibly be wrong with this? Okay, what? What? Am I in trouble? Am I in trouble? I wonder. So my rook is blocked. I blocked my rook with my gold. Um, is this terrible? I think it's playable. I'm trying to give my rook and bishop something to do this game. Um, not seeing any other way to play this. I thought this is a stable shape. Is it not a stable shape? I guess we're going to find out. <sighs> Especially since uh, Carolina showed us this morning some analysis of the game Abigail and I just played. Um, I'm so confused. Okay. 
my brain is only mostly melted here. Um, there's bishop drops everywhere. Literally everywhere. And heck if I know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, is this playable? It's not possible that our six down opponent makes mistakes, right? I'm split between, do I just fork the bishop and rook, or do I pawn drop here? Both look interesting to me. Um, this has got to be the safer move of the two. So I could take a rook, or I could take a horse. If I don't take the horse, it's going to take all my other pieces. If I don't take the rook, I'm probably getting mated. So which do I take? Well, if I take the rook, the bishop drop me, my rook moves, the pawn promotes, like everything is hanging simultaneously, so I have to take this, or I lose my everything. Uh, here I only lose my most everything. Um... Yeah, that's confusing. Uh, so he missed a, well, no, he can't do the bishop drop just yet, but it's coming. <sighs> what even is king safety? Is king safety a lie? Can there ever be such a thing as a safe king? <laughs> I mean, there is Anaguma, but um, we're talking about my games, I guess. And in the universe of my games, only the opponent's king is ever safe.
Okay, somehow I've lost audio. Not sure why. There it is, it's back. What is this? Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wait. Maybe it's fine. It's uncomfortable for sure, but maybe it's fine. Uh, I don't understand. What is my opponent doing? There's two levels at this that I don't understand. One, like, uh, the immediate sense of this, but two, um... Yeah, like, how is this game interesting? He's trying to encourage me to do something. Just not sure what. I think the timing is right for this kind of move, but I'm not sure that the idea is sound. Not sure if it mattered where I put my bishop. There were two good squares for it. And often keeping the bishop in hand is useful too, but um, here I think there are more immediate concerns. I've blocked my rook again, but I didn't think the rook was any good. I'm basically insulting most of my pieces every time I put a piece on the board or every time I move one of my pieces and it blocks another piece. <sighs> but yeah, here I'm so convinced that this move's going to happen that, um, I don't know.
All right, I am in check. The move I've been planning from a long time now has been the silver takes. But then my rook is loose. Um, still, this is really the only possibility here. If the other silver takes, my king is getting mated. So, well, not mated, but it's just like very unlikely my king survives there. So, yeah. Uh, so, what now? Jupio. Jupio. Um. Oh, so he takes my pawn. Um, I see, so my taking the rook at is potentially risky. Uh, honestly, this horse taking is the least of my worries. Yeah. That's the sort of thing I was more concerned about anyway. Um, so, I've got both my rooks lined up. There's probably not a shogi word for that. Other than uncommon shape. Um... What is the... Oh, okay, yeah. I'm remembering how horses move. Um, Am I in trouble here? Am I in trouble here? I wonder. keeps telling me to go after his king. But I know my attack is doomed to fail. Um, let's attack anyway. Oh. Well, shit. That doesn't help. Hmm. Jupio. I could defend my rook with a pawn if I'm really hell-bent on attacking right now. That would be a way to do it. I don't think I'm that convinced that I need to attack. So instead we get this half-hearted measure where I'm playing defense. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, whatever. Okay. Um, I have no idea how much danger my king is in. It would be nice to know. I'm going to start with this. 
and put this here. He tells me to attack the king. What I'm going to hear after this game is that I did it wrong. Calling it now. Because if I did the attack correctly, and I went after the king, I would win. So, the piece of advice we're going to get after this game Jibyo. is, hey, you kind of went after the king, and when you did it, it wasn't the greatest time to do it, but also you did it wrong. Uh, calling it now. <laughs> I am predicting that I am not going to win this game. <laughs> a bold, bold prediction. Playing against a six dot. <laughs> uh, okay, I could do my time management better, even when I'm in check. Um, I should play with some degree of optimism. Um, it's one thing to be have a healthy skepticism. It's another to just be Jibyo. outright skeptical the entire time. Um, Yeah, there's such a thing as an unhealthy skepticism. All right. Well, my king is having fun. I guess that's what counts, right? Um, Look, Oh, I think I see an attacking idea for him. Yeah, but also he finds good level-headed moves when I am not level-headed. Um, hmm.
Sorry for not commenting more. It's a hard game. Jubio 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 itch me sang she go look Oh Oh Ah uh, there are some challenges here, but most importantly is that my king is not surviving this and not anywhere close. Um, okay. I don't understand what we're doing. Is this some special kind of shogi? Why are we looking in this direction? Let's go, King! Yeah, you can do it! Alright, um... Alright, um... He's got two pieces attacking the square. I have two pieces attacking the square. Putting a pawn there would not be entirely unreasonable. What are we doing? I'm so confused. <sighs> so I have a knight. I have a knight and a tempo. Whatever. Let's try to put the pieces together to do something. Jubio. Okay. Jubio. What is this? I don't understand. 
Oh, this is defended. This horse is doing a good job defending the king. Um, Jupio 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 I don't understand what we're doing. Jupio. Jupio. Jupio 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 Nijupio itch me sang
10秒。20秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 10秒20秒1234567秒10秒10秒20秒1234567秒20秒1234567秒1 2 3 4 5 6 7 10秒10秒20秒1 2 3 4 5 6 10十秒二十秒一。10秒20秒
That was an adventure. So, um, yeah, as usual, after playing a game against such a strong opponent, I have no idea what to think. Uh, I mean, so regarding end games, we can feed those to the engines all day. They'll analyze the end games. This is what engines are very strong at. Um, yeah, uh, it certainly seemed that way. Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, I should give the hat over, because I really have no idea. Playing against such a strong opponent, when they don't completely obliterate me, um, it gives me this sense, and maybe I'm reading too much into it, that they're having fun. And Shogi is fun, but uh, I just... It was so surprising. Um, uh, wait, S mm. was this, oh, okay, I'm sorry, the, the game move was night takes. Um, but, I don't know. Pawn is better. Okay. Um, uh, take a second to digest this. Um. Oh, yeah, this is actually crushing in so many different ways. Yeah. <sighs> um, well, it is crushing in one way. Um, and you only need it to be crushing one way. Yeah, this makes sense. Okay. Yeah, this is even better than what I was looking at. Uh, very, very confused. Uh, Yeah. He played uh, something mistakenly. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt that, yes, like, he has no reason to toy around with me. And, yeah, this is just a mistake and an oversight. Um, there's no logical reason whatsoever. Uh, so, yeah, I was just so shocked. Because uh, the way the game turned out, I actually got a decent attack. Kind of followed the advice he's been providing me previous games, which is attack toward the king. So, yeah, the, the way the... Uh, yeah, this is just a confusing game. Yeah. Yeah, I was very, very surprised. Uh, 
was able to put in place some of the advice he'd given me about tacking toward the king. So I think that was the purpose of this game, was to get practice at that sort of attacking. Um, and yeah, I had some really sharp moves this game. Okay. Have a good night. Yeah. Yeah, something did not feel right this game. Um okay, that that might partially explain it too. Yeah, I didn't know what time it like his flag this is uh Thailand flag. So, um it made sense to me like the hour of day that we're playing the game has got to influence the play. If he's taking some medication or something, yeah, that might help too. Um, I was just astounded. Like, this game lasted 145 moves. And how many moves do we get into this game before I thought... Well, first we started with like this really weird troll Joseki, which was exciting. And is like perfectly legitimate, but um, yeah, it's it's special. Um, but yeah, I think somewhere around move forty here, I was of the opinion that um, my position is very difficult. Um, there's nothing wrong per se about it, so. The move I was afraid of, bishop 7-9 drop, is just no good whatsoever. The bishop gets trapped back here and cannot be saved. So I was afraid of a ghost. Um, they're trying to get me to move my silver. I'm just attacking. I did move my silver and then I came under attack. So yeah, about 50 moves into this game. That's 145 move game. I thought I was in a desperate position. So the fact that I managed to drag it out almost 100 moves from a position where I thought things were just outright terrible gave me this very strange sensation. <sighs> and yeah, toward the end, like, I didn't understand half of what was going on here. Um... Usually he builds a pretty solid castle, a really solid position, and then starts attacking. This was different, that he focused more on attacking than on defense this time. And consequently, I was just wondering, like, okay, is he reading this out, like, 50 moves deep? And just trying to get me to show that I can attack, um... Like, is he doing some kind of super special reading technique, and he's just trying to force me to demonstrate that I know anything about attacking, and he's just testing me? Or is, like, he legitimately tired or something else? I think this was a legitimate game. Of course, all his moves are uh, not in question from a perspective of any kind of assistance, but I was more concerned uh, about the well-being of my opponent. Because, um, yeah, usually he puts up a really solid castle and I get extremely frustrated. And this game, I was frustrated for a different reason, because I just didn't understand. Like, where is the super solid castle? Where is the devastating attack? I just didn't see it. Um, so... Yeah, I think absolutely he's right that he made some large, large oversight somewhere around here. Possible multiple misses. I don't know. Um, it's just such a weird endgame. I think this move makes sense. I think everything after this move was very confusing. And maybe this move isn't even necessary. Like... 
Yes, I have a dragon on 5-3. Yes, dragons breathe fire. But, like, I don't know. This position was so strange. Like, even if he just takes time out, even if he just, like, moves this over here, there's nothing I can do. I am just so legitimately screwed here that, yeah, there's nothing. So, I didn't know what to make of this game. Um, thankfully, in the game, I did get to demonstrate an attack. I played as well as I could, but very confusing game. I wish my opponent the best. I hope he sleeps well. Um, yeah, and thanks for the opportunity and uh, the, the post-game analysis, even if it left me very confused. Um, yeah, it's true. Probably most days I would not be brave enough to take an even game with this opponent. I, most days I would accept a handicap. And I did put an open seek out there, and I'm like, yeah, okay, it is an open seek. If he wants it, we'll play it. But um, uh, not exactly what I had in mind, but it was still a good game. Uh, yeah, most days I'd be totally fine taking a handicap game, but uh, today I wanted an even game with anyone. And we did get an even game. We played two even games today. We've lost both of them. We are certainly enjoying our streak as one done. <laughs> so yeah, I have another game to schedule for today sometime, or early tomorrow. So we'll get that scheduled. We'll come back at that time. Um, thanks to everyone for watching, and have a good day.